Hey guys, welcome back to Unreal Labs. Today we're going to be doing a video on backing up a Cisco switch with uh, Cron. So we're going to make an automatic scheduled CLI backup to a TFTP server. Pretty simple. I do have a couple caveats in here. I did, I did block TFTP or Windows Firewall is blocking TFTP on the Windows 10 machine we're going to be using today. So we'll be adding that. Um, rule to allow that inbound on that windows 10 box so if you haven't done that before that'll be a little extra part so i wanted to add some caveats so i am in the switch right now um and i can't ping the host doesn't mean i'm not actually connecting to the host uh but i currently cannot ping it um and if i do a copy uh let's do our running config or a uh, startup config we'll do startup config the tftp and I'll put the host IP address in here. And as you'll see here, it'll just time out. And the reason why is that, like I said, is the Windows firewall isn't configured to allow that communication. So if we jump back over to our Windows 10 machine, uh, I will just test communication from it to the switch. And you can see that that's working. So I know I have communication. Like I said, I can open ICMP if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave that off. But I am going to make a new rule just to prove a point here. So we're going to make a new rule in Windows Firewall here. Actually, I'm going to drive to it so you guys can see where to find that. So I just get to it through the Windows Explorer here. Properties on Network. Down below, you'll see Windows Defender. You can get that through to the settings. If you want to go settings with path, you can also do that. So as you can see, we have domain, uh, domain network, and that's connected. The other two are not connected, but we need to make a modification on this domain networks here so let's do that let's go to our advanced rules right here and we'll need to make an inbound rule let's these show up here there should be a bunch of them i guess it's a good time to get coffee while we wait there they are all right so there's a ton of rules down here we're going to make a new one and we're going to choose using it a port instead of hunting for the program. And, you, and uh, TFTP is a UDP on port 69. So we're going to select UDP, and then we're going to sp specify the port as 69. And we're going to allow the connection. And I'm going to apply this to all of the profiles, so domain, private, and public on that profile. And then I'm just going to name it TFTP. So our rule's been added, and now it's in the firewall, so it should allow us, if we move back over to the switch, to run the same command. So let's do this, do the copy, the TFTP, and run it, and as you can see, we, we had a successful copy. We opened SolarWinds here, we're seeing in the log, you're seeing that it actually completed the command, and if we drive actually down to the file location, you can see the switch one dot uh, hyphen config there. So that's that is actually there. Now let's add, like I said, we're going to add cron to this. So we're going to start scheduling jobs. Um, that'd be the goal, especially in a production environment. So we look at our startup. We don't have any. I don't have any cron jobs. I don't believe on this. So let's get let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do. Actually, I'm going to make sure my time. So show clock. I want to make sure it's. Pretty close to the time and date I need it to be. So if you don't have NTP set up on your switch, you should we should be doing that. Um, and it definitely should have the right uh, day, month, and, and year. Um, especially when you're scheduling these jobs. So my clock's good. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a policy list and we're going to add those CLI commands for cron. So we'll go into config T. And we're going to be cron. And we're going to do that policy list. I'm going to actually pull this out. I love Mobax term is I can pull this out and kind of make it try to make it a little bit. It's not at the bottom of our screen here. So you guys can view that better. All right. So policy list and I'm going to call it backup. Sounds good, right? 
and like you could do some conditionals too if you wanted but today we're not and then we're going to run so uh let me hit question mark here so you guys can see the commands so we have cli exit l so we could remove a so you because you could stack cli commands so we could do like our first command let's do first command is just write run um let's do that and then the second command we're going to do that copy startup config uh to tftp right so copy startup config the tftp but i'm going to need to specify i can't just go through the menu system right now i need to specify the the host ip or the host name if dns was configured you could put a folder in there if you if you were going to you know organize your backups and then we'll want the file name so tftp i'm going to put the host ip 1.200 and then i'm going to call it switch one cron dot text all right, so that's all configured. And now the next step, we're going to go cron, and we want the occurrence part now. So we want to, this is the scheduling of when we're going to run this. So if we check our options, we have to put a name in here. So I'm going to name it backup just so it matches. Um, and then I'm going to do it at. And the time I'm going to run it as, because I'm hoping to time this right. So we'll do this at uh, 1150. It's 1146 my time. So 1150. And I'm going to run it on a Monday, because it is Monday today. And instead of like a one-time deal, I want to do it recurring. So every Monday, I want this thing to try to fire to this FTP server. Or TFTP server, not FTP. You could do FTP, I guess. Um, so that is about it. So let's look at... show run we'll just leave it because i in that cli we did do a right run so i'm going to hope it's going to it's going to save this config and then it's going to copy it so i won't change anything <clears throat> so that looks all good right there oh you know what? i missed one thing i don't know if you guys caught it let's go back in here i made a big boo-boo so cron occurrence backup at 11.50, Monday, recurring, and you'll see how big that was, because right here it would be running nothing. So we need to be into that mode, and we hit question mark, and I need to call that policy list here. So policy list, whoops, if I could type, and we named it backup, so we'll call that backup, and then we'll exit. And now we'll do a show run. And now it looks a little different. So here's our, like I said, we made our policy list first. So cron policy backup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write run. That way, if any changes I make and I forget to write it, hopefully that Monday or if it was recurring every day, it would write the switch and then it would copy that to the TFTP server at uh, 172.16.1.200. And it would be, this would be the file name here. And this is the, like I said, cron occurrence. So this is telling us that we're going to back up at 11.50 a.m. On Monday and we're gonna keep on doing that now if it was like I said afternoon times it'd be 1300 1400 something like that or you know after or p.m. times I should say and then policy list like I said we're calling that backup policy list backup so now we just got to wait a minute I think let's show clock let's see where we're at here we're oh we're a minute and a half off I guess so I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna I'll unpause it when we get to about 10 seconds on the switch All right, we're right about there, so 52 seconds. So let's switch over to the TFTP server. I want to see this log come in, so eight seconds we'll see here. Boom, there it is. So we see switch cron text. And what I'm hoping is on that backup, if you look at our old one here, text editor here, that we did before, this was the old startup, and there wasn't any modification on the cron. So that's the one before, and then this is the one we just did. And we should see, like I said, it wrote it. So the CLI has been written, or the configuration's been written, and then we've copied that to there. So and we have that configuration file. So there you go. Let's look back on the switch. 
and we should be able to show run or show start and that should be saved also because we like i said we didn't save it so to verify but there there it is so yeah i see this happen a lot in production environments where you know you'll get a switch configured uh the clock is always wrong for some reason guys don't do the ntp configuration for them i don't know why and then the scheduling backup. So usually when something happens with the switch, they're like having to find old backups that happened, you know, months ago. Some guys are really good about backing them up manually, but I highly recommend you guys, you know, do a there's other ways of doing this, but I prefer the cron method, at least on catalyst switches. Uh just I'm old school and that's what I do. So and it always works for me. So and then you can, like I said, I I have some logic where I build that into a script that that digs through that tftp server and just shoots me like time and date so i know that files are being written so it's it's actually copying those out for like a month out so and then i'll clear them out um but you could also like i said anything in that cli command you could be doing automatically on the scron so if you've got something you want to maybe shut an interface down on a sunday um you could definitely do that through your cron job you know it's not necessarily a backup maybe you want to maybe you want to shut off like the guest wi-fi or something you know friday at six o'clock you could down the interface right here and then you know monday morning or sunday afternoon whenever you want to do it you can bring that interface back up so yeah all kinds of good stuff you could do with it hope you guys like the video uh, appreciate all the new subscribers all the likes and all the comments and questions i appreciate that um i it, it usually takes me a day or two to get back to you guys i apologize for that trying to get quicker um but yeah thanks again thanks for watching